Hey guys, Greg Town here. You know me as your friend in the real estate business. I wanted to get this quick video out to you guys really to update you on what's going on in the real estate market. A lot of times I'll get questions, I'll get text messages, phone calls, asking me, hey, I'm seeing these news reports, I'm seeing that Seattle is the number one declining market, Tacoma's the number 10 declining market, what does that mean? Uh, so I went ahead and crunched the county stats for you know for the you know the Puget Sound region, for the areas that we tend to be working in, my, my group and myself, my team tends to be working in, and really want to kind of give you a case-by-case -case you know, re re review. And also what this does is this kind of helps you see, hey, you know, it helps you kind of keep an eye on the trends, which is what we do on a daily basis here. Um, if you have questions about your particular city or zip code or neighborhood, let me know. We can crunch those numbers for you. But hey, let's look a little bit at the, let's look at the data here. So King County, if you owned a home in King County, your average sales price last month was $1,085,553. Now, that actually went up from August, where your average sales price was $1,004,294. And then it was definitely up from September of last year, so we're looking at that rolling last 12 months, of $907,248. Which basically means if you owned a home in King County, you roughly gained about 20% in your equity, your, your home value. Homes for sale in King County, $3,267. Your average price per square foot, uh, at the you know for September of this year was $521 per square which actually went up from $519 per square which was August and was up from $460 per square foot which was about 12 months you know you know September of 2021 now your month supply you know for King County last month we you know we crossed over that 1.1 mark uh, so we we're at 1.1 months which was up a little bit from August which was one month uh, but it, ironically when we looked at September of 2021 it was also one month of inventory back then too. Now Snohomish County, your average price point in Snohomish County for uh, for the you know for last month was seven hundred sixty-eight thousand and two dollars. That rose a little bit from August, which was seven hundred sixty thousand and six hundred twenty-three dollars. And September of last year was six hundred forty-one thousand one hundred sixty dollars. So basically, if you do the math, if you own a home in Snohomish, you gained also twenty percent. Homes for sale, $1,320. Your average price per square foot was $398, which was uh, up a little bit from $395 in August and up from $336, which was September of last year. Now, your month supply for Snohomish County stayed the same for both September and August, which is one month supply, which is up a little bit from 12 months ago, September of 0.7 months. Pierce County is, you know, your average price point in Pierce County for last month was $578,833, which also rose a little bit uh, from August, which was $574,799. Now, we just did a real estate review for zip code of 98387, which is the Spanaway zip code. And there, we actually saw a slight decrease in values uh, in your average sales price. It was really, really marginal. It was not even a full percent, but it was. It was. It's the first time we've actually seen a little bit this slight, you know, slowdown, which I think may be being caused by the interest rates. A year ago in Pierce County, September 2021 was 507,648 dollars, which basically means if you own a home in Pierce County, you've had an equity gain of a, probably 14 percent. Um, homes for sale in Pierce County was 1,845. Your average price per square foot was $309, which is up a little bit from August, which is $307, and definitely up from September of last year, which was $272. Pierce County, on average, is about 1.2 months of supply, which is the same as the month before in August, uh, which is up a little bit from September of last year, which was 0.9 months. Thurston County. So Thurston County, your average price point for last month was $510,620, which was up a little bit from August, which was $508,681, uh, which was obviously up from September of 2021, which was $451,995, which basically means if you owned a home in Thurston County, you had an equity gain of 13% this last year. 
Homes for sale, Thurston County is 568 total. Your average price per square foot is $278, which was up from $277, so raised up by about a buck per square foot. Uh, and then September of, of last year was 245. Thurston County, just like Pierce County, you know, held pretty firm at their average price or their average month supply, which was 1.1 for both September and August of this year, uh, which is up slightly. Of, it was 0.9 from uh, you know September of last year. My friends in Kitsap County, all right. Your average price per square, or correction, your average home values there was $643,263. This was up from uh, August, which was $639,145. And then if we look at September of last year, it was $589,199, which basically means that you gained in value of 9%. Yeah, average, you had uh, 408 homes on the market. Your price per square foot was three hundred twenty-four dollars, which is the same in August. Uh, but this is up from, up, you know, from you know, for September of, of last year, which is two hundred ninety-seven dollars. Your month supply on market was states firm for uh, September and August, which is one point zero months, and then September of last year, when you're at point eight months. Mason County, your average price point in Mason County is four hundred sixty-four thousand five hundred ninety dollars. Uh, in August, it was $464,260, so it just creeped up a little bit. And then in uh, a year ago, it was $411,857, which basically meant that you gained 13%. Uh, homes for sale in Mason County is 163. Your average price per square foot is 297, which can came down a little bit because in August it was $298 per square foot, and 12 months ago it was $261 per square foot. Your average month supply in Mason County is 1.4 right now, which is up a little bit from August, which is 1.3, and definitely is up from uh, September a year ago, which was 0.8. Interest rates, I just kind of checked in on uh, Bankwire. I think it's Bankwire is where we checked the, where I checked them at. Now, keep in mind, interest rates I'm going to be saying here, these are not quoting like what your interest rate would be today because everybody's interest rate is a little bit different. 30-year fix is 6.95. 15-year fix is 6.05, which this is good. They came down because I did see them crest over the 7 market. 7 mark. Now, here's the interesting thing. A 30-year jumbo. Now, jumbo loan is going to be kind of, you, you, you have what you're called your conforming limits, which means up to a certain price point. Then after that means it's a jumbo loan. It's above that price point. It's 5.95. So we're starting to see a lot of times, especially in the higher end properties, which may be what we're seeing this gain in King County, to where instead of people having to put a huge down payment down to keep the, you know, to keep their interest rate at a lower bracket, they're not putting as much of, their, of that down payment down, so they'll take the jumbo loan. FHA loan 6.52, VA loan 6.6. Now, what's going? You my thoughts on what's going on in the real estate market? This is not the real estate market of 2009. I don't think you know, we don't. I don't think we have to worry about the, you know that aspect. But what I am seeing is that the market is starting to slow down. It is shifting a little bit. It's balancing out a little bit. Now we keep an eye on this market. We, you know, myself personally, I run multiple real estate reviews every month for clients of ours. Uh, and we're keeping our tracks on, and we're keeping an eye on this pulse of it. If you have any questions whatsoever, DM me, shoot me a text, give me a call, shoot me an email. Uh, but let me know, and we can definitely kind of take a look at your property or your neighborhood or a case-by-case -case scenario. Any questions you have, as always, give me a call. Know that. Make it a great day.